Oh, we're going to smoke. This is your host, David. <laughs> Mike and Jake are with me tonight. Yeah. Yes, we are. Hi, we're here. Should we do a promo video real quick? Um, sure. Okay. Would, what, how would you like to do a promo hey video? Hey, guys! I think, <laughs> I think that is the promo video. What is the promo? The hello? How yeah. you doing? And but, then Mike's saying, hey, let's do a promo video. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Today, we're actually going to be talking about Star Wars Rebels. Rebels. Now, you can find this uh, You can find this TV series on Disney+. Plus. Yes. I think that, and then you could probably buy it someplace, but if you have Disney+. Plus, I, it, Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't buy it. Just list, watch it. Um, do you have a synopsis? I do you? have a synopsis. Okay. This animated entry in the Star Wars franchise fills the gaps between the events of Episodes 3 and Episodes 4. Mm-hmm. Imperial forces occupy a remote planet and are ruling and ruining its inhabitants. Yeah. And its inhabitants lives with an iron fist. <laughs> a clever Wait, Marvel's iron fist? Is that what we're talking about? No. no I'm joking. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> a clever... Desperate crew aboard the starship Ghost takes a stand against the Empire, facing new villains and colorful adversaries as they attempt to ignite a rebellion. Mm -hmm. The rebels on the Ghost include leader Kanan, ace pilot Hera, feisty heroine Sabine, tough guy Zeb, and 14-year-old con artist Ezra. And it doesn't say in it, but their droid Hopper. (sighs) Yeah, Hopper. No, isn't it Chopper? Chopper. Is it Chopper? Chopper. Chopper. Yeah. yeah. He he's a little bit more feisty than R two D two. Yep. Just a bit more feisty, but like they're about the same vein where they're just very feisty droids. And mm-hmm. what is Chopper? What uh, what uh, movie is he in? Rogue One. Rogue One. What? Watch Rogue One again. I'm going to I'm see go. Chopper. You see him roll by on Yavin 4. And they call for Captain Sandula. Oh, man. Well, Hera Sandula, mm. Captain of the Ghost. And supposedly, I still haven't seen it, but you can see the ghost in the battle over Scarif. Yes, uh, I read that. The, the one the where all the ships went in, into, in Rogue One, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I have to watch that now. I I would like to say I do like this series. Yes, very very much. Yeah. Do you have anything about it, Mike? Well, we'll just talk about the continuity issue right now. I guess they have a con- okay, another cool. one. I know cool. that's what's. Did they rank this one high? They didn't rank this one at all. Oh. IGN didn't rank it because it. I don't. I don't know why. I think it's because. Well, I don't know. The animation. The animation isn't. Uh, it's okay. It's the same animation that they used in the Clone Wars. I think it's a little different. Uh, it's different. It's slightly different, but it's g- different g- guess who's running the, the series? I know. This is the Dave same piece of- Filoni. Yeah, I know, but they animated they animated it different. Yeah, this you could tell the different like there's a big difference. They did change I know, this is here's my nerdy part. They did change <laughs> nerdy uh, the nerdy part. They did change the uh uh, engine. That's what. That's uh, how they can. The engine. Yeah. So I don't know if you've heard of. So there's uh, <laughs> there's games out there. Have you heard of Unreal? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's a video game. They when the people who made Unreal they mm. created their own way of animating things, and they call it the Unreal Engine. Oh. So the engine that created Rebels is called 3D Maya. Maya oh. is the engine that created it. So, I so it, it's the it's the um, it's the software that yeah, makes the software it. Software that makes it. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. the software that made Rebels is Maya. We yeah. said you weren't going to say anything this episode. Oh, yeah, no. There you go, hey, Mike. There I go. Good job, Mike. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, the three D Maya. They didn't even rank this. No. Was, okay, continuity though. Oh, what, continuity. What, what, well, this one, this one, I like, and it, I guess. Wait, wait, they, wait, have you seen this series? No, I haven't seen okay, the series. Cool. Even if I had it, I wouldn't know if it was yeah. continuity or yeah. not. I don't okay. know anything Just about wondering. that. Just asking. Executive producer of the series, Greg Wiseman, who, by the way, uh, he was only there for a couple seasons, then he left, and yeah. now he's joined the DC uh, universe. 
so it's kind of weird. He's DC uh, comics. Oh, uh, com- just the comics, D- so not uh, the cinematic uh, universe. Yeah, just the comics. Anyway, uh, he says we're all very dedicated, and we know this show is going to be canon, so we take the responsibility very seriously. We know that on the one hand, there's an audience who's going to be watching this that knows everything there is to know about Lucasfilm canon and knows beyond the tons of stuff from the expanded universe, which may or may not turn out to be canon once Lucasfilm decides what is official and what's not. So we want the show to work for that group, the most extreme fanboys out there. At the same time, we also have the responsibility that, for a certain generation of kids, this is going to be their first exposure to Star Wars. Mm-hmm. And then, sure enough, there the fanboys could only find a very few continuity issues. Oh, did <laughs> did you? Did no, you, I didn't look. Uh, well, oh, okay. it, it didn't even didn't even list them. Didn't All even it said, list them. It said only there was only a couple. Like I don't. So. Do, is this one more of like a well accepted yeah. cartoon, like animated series yeah, I, in Star Wars? I don't have the numbers of who watched it and all, well, or yeah. how popular it was, but at four seasons. Five, isn't it? It's four. Four. Four? Four seasons, four. 75 episodes running from 2014 to 2018. Oh, I think there should be a fifth. But. So I believe there's going to be a fifth. Disney animated series yeah. very rarely get more than three seasons. Hmm. Yes, like uh, uh, d- don't don't you think um, they should? No, I think the story the story arc was done. So well, then, wait now I. So I going disagree back. with you on that because there's a huge cliffhanger. I, sure, whatever. What, well, what about the Clone Wars? How many seasons was that? Six. So and then a seventh, and seventh coming one out. is coming. Yeah. So they define the. But they're going to end it on that one. No, 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 no. But will they? As long as they keep making money on it, they can still. <laughs> no, they need to do. They need to do seven, the seventh season with the Clone Wars, and they need to do a fifth season. Of Star Wars Rebels. Yeah, but the the end of season four, it it go it takes them past to it takes Return of the Jedi. Yeah, that's what I was just gonna say. Okay, your point is what? The Empire is gone. Yeah, but you have to go find Ezra because he's not dead. What? So who goes and? Uh, uh, finds Ezra. Who the is Mandalorian, it? Sabine, and Sabine and Exano, uh, Tano. Tano. Do you know whose voice you, Ray heard when she was lying on the ground and all no. the Jedi start talking to her? Because I need to see that more. No. Freddie Prince Jr., who voiced, uh, what's his name, the Jedi Knight. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like him. And the voice actress of Ahsoka Tano. So. Yeah, but Ezra's so she a Jedi, pa- too. So she passed away at some point. Okay. But that means you have to explain that. She could pass away when trying to find Ezra. I'm okay. Her dying off camera. Whatever. I'm actually becoming, I think I'm becoming more of a Toxics fan. <laughs> I'm deciding that. I've decided that right now. Yeah. Because I do not like your tone about not doing a fifth season. <laughs> I do not like it at all. I think it's mess you have to do a fifth season. Or, you know, maybe not you don't have to do a whole season. Maybe be like a like um one of those like a a Disney Channel movie. Yeah. Kinda like the Clone Wars movie. Just be like, oh just do this and then have them go on this one adventure to find Ezra and then have that and like that's all you need is just to find mm-hmm. Ezra because they did leave it off like hey I need to go find Ezra we need to go find Ezra eh. Uh, eh. I don't like you Jake right now I like you Dave I like you I like you overall <laughs> I love you overall but this thing is no they left a great big cliffhanger on there I, I don't think that they did did you not like Ezra 
Did, do you understand the, the, the arc of season four? Mm, you know what? I'm always off on Galen this. sacrifices himself yeah. for the crew. Yeah, and he does... Ezra sacrifices himself to save his save the planet, sacrifice it, and take Thrawn with him. But also, wait a minute. Anyways, this doesn't make sense. What I liked about Rebels is that the the themes of the season were much more well defined than the Clone Wars. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The season one, it would, it's defined by their villains. Because season one was the High Inquisitor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then season two with Darth Vader. Yeah, that was cool. And then s- seasons three and four was Thrawn. Dude, I love... Who did Thrawn's voice? I don't know, but... I love his voice. That's how I imagined it to be. Yeah. Like, in, I'm, I'm listening to a co- I'm listening to Thrawn's... Um, a book about Thrawn. And I do like the guy's voice, but like... Mm-hmm. Rebel's voice of Thrawn. It's like, oh, I like this guy. I really yeah. like this guy where it's like, yeah, and Thrawn. I hope they introduce him into, like, a movie. Just oh. a little bit. It would be awesome. But I don't think they ever will. Well, they they should have done the Timothy Zahn uh, trilogy as movies 7, 8, and 9. They should have, but... You know, but they would have had to do that in the nineties, and not. Why the nineties? Because Luke and yeah, Leia and were Han younger. were younger. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The, the actors and actresses. Yeah, and they chose one, two, and three. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, yeah. Okay. Could have waited for one, two, and three. Yeah. Could have. Interesting fact about Zeb. Yeah. His character design was the original character design for Chewbacca. Really? Yeah. You look at the original sketches of Chewbacca. Chewbacca, He looked like Zeb. And I forget what species of alien he is, but... Uh, They made a good choice. I like Zeb. I I really think Zeb's great, but definitely Chewbacca's... But I don't know. Like... If they introduced Zeb right in in yeah. three in four five and six, they would have done. Everybody would have loved Zeb. Maybe who knows? Yeah, he could have been the Jar Jar Binks of four five and six. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The that season two with yeah. Darth Vader. Oh, dude. And the, that last the the battle between him and Ahsoka Tano oh, worth the price of admission. Oh, worth yeah. the whole series oh, yeah. just to watch that. Oh yeah. Now I gotta watch it. And like how it it breaks his mask like yeah. the mask comes off and he calls her out. It's it's the second best lightsaber battle in all of Star Wars. Dude it I, I like um Vader in there one. I did like understanding Maul a little bit more yeah. of how he became who he became. Yeah. Um, and then him getting a brother, like him having a brother. And that was in The Clone Wars. Oh, the Clone Wars. <laughs> okay. I'm just confusing. <laughs> but I still like Darth, so, Darth so, Maul. And so at the end it. of season two, yeah. they're going to a Sith temple to get a holocron. And they find... And v- uh, Maul's Maul. there. Yeah. Yep. And three Inquisitors are going after him, and their surprise Maul's there, and they're like, he does exist. Yeah. And it shows how how good of a... He battles him and kills him. Oh, yeah. He's a bad dude. (laughs) Yeah, he's a bad dude. Bad dude. And then in season three, is that when he fights Obi-Wan Kenobi? I know, I was disappointed in that fight. So disappointed. I'm sitting there watching it, and it's like... It's oh, cool. No. No. Oh, we one takes him out in literally two seconds. Oh, yeah. wow. So dumb. And he's Spoilers. Go- Spoilers. Yeah, he's going to... Ezra leads, Ezra leads Maul, Maul 
to, to Obi Wan w- without knowing he yeah. did. And then Obi Wan in in this one is a little bit older. Yeah. Luke is you just see Not a glimpse seen. of Luke, or you hear a brew calling Luke. Yeah, it to come inside yeah. house. It's at nighttime and all that sort of thing. Like you can see where Obi Wan is watching over him from a distance. Yeah. That you didn't know, really, in Episode Four. That he, like he said he was, but you just didn't yeah. see it. And then this one, you saw him. And you, you get Lando Calrissian in a few episodes. Yeah. You get Leia in a few episodes. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's always fun. Yeah, that's always fun. Just a little to see fan them. service. Yeah. And then you get. Don't you? There's a. Isn't there an R two? Is there an R two? Is R you see R two? R two's in it, yeah. and then three PO, not three PO. I don't think I don't it's, remember three PO. It's been a while since I've seen the seasons. Yeah, I don't remember three PO yeah. very much. But then they tell you the whole story behind the black lightsaber mm-hmm. in Rebels, mm-hmm. and you're just like, whoa! It was that is awesome. It was it? One of the first Mandalorian warriors was a Jedi Knight, yeah. and that was his lightsaber. Yeah. And he ruled Mandalore, mm-hmm. and so it became a symbol of the ruler of Mandalore. Yep. That that person had the black lightsaber, and Sabine for a while carries it. Yeah. And then she gives it to, don't remember her name, <sighs> yeah, but the I redheaded don't. chick. Yeah. So um, she's so, a better. She would be a better. She was a better fit for the Mandalorian. Do we know when leadership. Mandalore existed in the timeline? Once again, I love that timeline. Thirty six hundred BBY. Yeah. So Mandalore with that that black saber has been around for a long time. Yeah. Because yeah. then, then they stored in the the Jedi Temple at one point. Don't know. Okay. How did she? I can't remember how she got it. I don't remember either. Because somebody, like, had it, and then she took it. Because Maul had it, and yeah. then he ran away, I guess. And then she had she. Got, I think that's yeah. where she got it from, is Maul. Yeah, so it shows this group of rebels fighting the Empire in different, mm-hmm. yeah. different planets, and yeah. Mandalore features a lot in it. Yep. And then, so you're reading the Thrawn book by Timothy mm-hmm. Zone. Mm-hmm. It's the setups for seasons three and four. Yeah, Thrawn. Because like, Thrawn is big into it, and then you also see, um, like people are afraid of Thrawn, mm-hmm. and like, it's like, yeah, I can understand why you're afraid of Thrawn. Like, dude is. Yeah. Like I think you said it one time when He's we were the talking. Best villain outside of the original movies. Yeah. And he he he's not a, he's not a Sith Lord or anything. He's just smart, observant, breaks people down and saying, "Okay, this is your weakness and I'll t- I'll take advantage of your weakness." So, he's almost Commander Spock like mm-hmm. in his ability to think ahead. Yeah, yeah. So if Spock was a bad guy, that's what Thrawn that's scary. Would be. Yeah, because Spock is an awesome good guy. Yeah, <laughs> and like, in to me, you just fall more in love with Thrawn. You fall, yeah. you or you're just like, man, this dude is so awesome. Yeah. Just smart. And he takes everybody's culture, uses it against them, mm-hmm. and all that stuff. Like, they went, one of the episodes Thrawn was in. Rilo or something. Is that what you're talking about? The one where um, the where? pilot is going back to get an yeah. uh, artifact. Yeah. And he knew about this artifact, why it would be important. But er- she's trying to pass it off as not important. And he's like, no, don't you know that? This artifact is a family heirloom. Hey, I'm introducing you to the governor's daughter. Here's the pilot of the ghost. And you're just like, what? Yeah. Whoa. And he just knew because he understood traditions. He looked at Mm -hmm. traditions. And it's like, okay, I'm going to use it against people. 
So who's Thrawn's allegiance to? Anybody? The, the Emperor. Emperor. Okay, the Emperor. Uh, of course. Uh, he was originally introduced as Grand Admiral Thrawn. Okay. In the in the Timothy Zahn trilogy, that's yeah. now legend. Yeah, and people like. In that one, I think there's a couple lines where it's like, I, want, I wonder what would have happened in the first Death Star, like the first Death Star battle if Thrawn was there. Yeah. Or whatever. And you're just like, that's true. Like, he's yeah. probably, he was smart. Yeah, just but genius. Then this shows why he wasn't there. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of incompetence in Star Wars. <laughs> Especially by Darth Vader. <laughs> very incompetent yeah. as like certain parts of him. Very yeah. incompetent. But I think that's with everybody. And Yeah. True. He's the chosen one though, if that helps. No. I think Luke is. <laughs> no, he's not. Does it wait, what does um Darth Maul say to him when they're fighting? Is he the chosen one? Yeah. And Obi-Wan says yes. Yeah, but... He'll bring balance to the Force. He did. Did he? I think so. (laughs) Technically, really, Anakin did bring balance to the Force. Told you. Technically. Because he's the chosen one. Technically. But not really, according to 7, 8, and 9. But he is. Like, well, I know he's I know he's the chosen one, but he didn't bring balance to the force because Palpatine was still alive after. You know, technically, was he? That's what. That, that's so confusing about is, Rise of Skywalker. But we're talking about rebels. I know, I know, we're talking about rebels, but we're also specifically talking yeah. about what Obi Wan said to Darth Maul when they did the disappointing lightsaber fight, and. Yeah. Eli, Obi Wan, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I, I still think they should make a fifth season. What do you think about the when in the season two when they make it to the Jedi Temple and there's the the guardians of the the Jedi Temple and they come out where and they, they had, had to fight and yeah. they had the gold lightsabers. Well, yeah, like, and that's where I think when I when I was questioning Ray's why she chose yeah. the sil- gold, I was like, oh, I wonder why. And then they showed the clip of that, or they showed those. Yeah. And I'm like, that. Yeah. Okay. When we talked about Rise of Skywalker, yeah, right. and you said that, I was like, oh, yeah, that, yeah. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Because, but, and it turns out one of the guardians was the High Inquisitor from season one. Yeah. I because was he like, used to what? be, a, all the Inquisitors used, used to be, be Jedi. Jedi Knights. Yeah. And I think the, the new video game, Fallen Order. Yeah. Those are the main enemies you're fighting are the, the inquis- Inquisitors. I heard also you fight Darth Vader, do you? I don't know. At a point? I don't have an Xbox or a PlayStation <laughs> 3 I've, or 4 or whatever number it's on now. I was talking. I've got my PlayStation 2. <laughs> I was talking. Crash to, Bandit. I was talking <laughs> to somebody and they talked about how people were losing their, were losing themselves because, um, they fought Darth Vader at the end, like it's one of the things. But I don't know because I don't play video games. Mm, I don't know. I I haven't played it. I just yeah. that'd be a fun podcast. <laughs> we'll get, we'll go get these games and play them, and then tell us. I can play Tetris. <laughs> yeah, and I can play um, Street Fighter against Jake. Oh yes, M Bison. Sorry, I love that. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you should play Ryan. Oh, Ryan would kill me. Yeah. He's more into video games. Yeah, but I you know. guys were kind of both more into... Anyways. Not uh, but, Street Fighter. No. Uh, is there anything else about Rebels that we want no. to talk about? Awesome show. Awesome. Yeah, I would recommend it. Yeah. I totally recommend it. And it was just before uh, Episode 4, right? So yeah. everybody, yeah. if you want to learn more about Episode 4, and they what do, you and, say? Yeah, yeah. And then also right before, in the last episode of the series, they talk about, like, um, they give a recap of where people went after yeah. that sort of thing. A- after, because after, it takes you past Return of the Jedi. Yeah, it does. 
because Sabine and Ahsoka, uh, Ahsoka don't actually go and search for Ezra until after Return of the Jedi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I feel season four was a little disappointing to me because I kept expecting it to end at Scarif. What do you mean? The battle over the Death Star plans. I I thought it would have led perfect. It would have led perfectly to that. Yeah. But at the same time, Thrawn had that. Because did Thrawn had a new, a new type of Tie Fighter, right? Was that after or was that before? It's been so long since I've yeah. seen the seasons. So I, I don't remember specific designed, points. I th- I remember Thrawn having a, de- a certain design, and they were trying to have gas and all this stuff. And this was when he died, when yeah. the guy died. Um, and they, they're like, we're going to kill this Jedi, and they kill all the fuel because they were fighting against the Empire funding Thrawn's. Enterprise of TIE Fighters with... Versus the Death Star, right? Yeah, it was like, who who was the guy? Thrawn? No, no, who was the guy that was doing the Death Star? Tarkin? No, Tarkin was the guy who took over. Who was the guy before? Krennic? Krennic, because they brought, they brought up Krennic oh. in it, and they're like, well, Krennic is doing this Death Star thing and all this stuff, so it was... It was interesting that way, and so yeah. he died, and um, so I think it was important to maybe have it a little bit longer because then Ezra made his sacrifice, mm-hmm. and so it's like, and kind yeah. of like goes along with what you've talked about with how Jedi they make their sacrifices will giving willingly instead of force. They're like, Oh, okay, here yeah, we're going to, yeah. But I don't know. That's me. Yeah. I did like how they made the Jedi blind though. And like what season yeah. it was it two? It was at the end of season two where that he Maul went blind blinds him. Yeah. And I thought that was really cool. Yeah. It, because then you finally see somebody use the force Every in an everyday thing without their sight. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Way cool. Yeah. yeah. Way cool. So, so that's rebels. Does yeah. do we need to talk about anything else? No, rebels? I think that was it. Watch it. Okay. Yeah, it's a good series. It. It, yes. Watch it, Mike. I will. Yeah. Everybody, watch it. it with me. Just enjoy it. It's on um, Disney Plus. It's on Disney Plus. Totally. <laughs> Okay. When um, I watch it, I had to get it from the library. Oh, man. <laughs> Free. So thank you for joining us. Have a great day. And please subscribe, rate, and leave a comment. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye.